Hi. AI image generation is great to create stunning photos and is getting more amazing every day. However, when it comes to creating flowcharts or diagrams, these tools, at least as of today, will fail. However, you don't even need any fancy tool that is specified in this kind of task, but you can use any LLM you would like to create accurate and perfect flowcharts and diagrams. So in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can do this. And the only thing you need for this is to take any large language model provider you would like. So you can use Claude Sonnet 3.5, which has just been released, or you can use ChatGPT GPT 4.0, which we are using, or you can use Mistral Perplexity, any large language model provider that you prefer. All right, now how we are going to do this is by using a text converter and the text converter we are going to use is called Mermaid. There are other alternatives, but I found that Mermaid seems to be the most capable one as of today. And as you can see, this is a JavaScript based diagramming and charting tool that renders markdown inspired text into diagrams. So this will enable us to just write pure text, pure code, or rather let AI create this code, and then use this to render this into a specific diagram that we want. Now let's take a quick look into the documentation so that we know what we're talking about. I'm going to select the docs and here you can see what Mermaid is about and how to get started and everything. But we won't need to deal too much with this because we will, of course, let our LLM do the heavy lifting. But just to give you an example how this could look, here you have a very basic flowchart syntax and what the input will be of the code and this is what the LLM is going to generate and what this tool may, will make out of this. So here you can see a very simple note but this can get quite complex. So here you can already see the beginning how this will look and you have all the different styling options that you want. And this is just a flowchart example and you can get into sequence diagrams, you will have class and state diagrams, ER, ER diagrams and everything and uh, even user journeys which is one that we're going to use as an example right now and the Gantt charts. So you have quite a selection of different uh, templates that you can use. And but of course you don't need to get too much into this but just as a background so that you know how this works. And how we will finally retrieve our actual diagram and be able to download it is going to be by selecting the live editor up in the top right corner. And by the way, this tool is completely free and you don't even need to register an account for this. So if you hit live editor, then you will have this interface. And the left side, you will see the code that we are going to paste in. And on the right side is the diagram that is going to be created and we will able to download this. And then for instance, paste it into a PowerPoint or show it to anybody who's interested. Now I have prepared a couple of text documents and the first one will be our prompt for our LLM, right? And this is fairly simple because it just says, please create a diagram using the mermaid syntax for the following use case of, and then we just have a placeholder and this is what we're going to enter right now. Then we have our natural language input, if you will. This is the part where we will have to do the work and describe what kind of diagram we want and what we want it to express. And then use the following code as a template. And this is where we will use the documentation of Mermaid or where we can use it to make a more precise diagram and to have a reference so that the AI model knows how to adhere to the specific syntax. And then just a little hint, because this is something that I have experienced. This is a note from the docs itself themselves. Actually, if you're using the word end in a flowchart, capitalize it. Otherwise, it will break the flowchart. And this is just a simple side note. All right, now the second and third document is just an example of what you could have created. 
right? So let's take a user journey, for instance. So we will create a diagram for a user journey where a user is purchasing a product on an e-commerce website. So you have the persona and then you have the goal. And then, of course, the stages of the user journey, user journey, what it's going to go through. And this is just a, an extensive description of the process that you would want to display as a diagram. And the second one is a vacation planning trip, a step-by-step -step guide, and then start the process. The journey begins with the initial decision to take a vacation. This is the starting point of our planning process and so on and so forth. So this is the part where we will have to do the work and we will describe to the model what kind of diagram and what chart we need and want. All right, now let's combine these documents. So we're going to finish the first sentence. Please create a diagram using the mermaid syntax for the following use case of a user. And then we're just going to take our title, purchasing a product in an e-commerce website. Now, then we have the description of that process. We're just going to take the stages, copy this paste it in here and use the following code as a template. And this is where we could use the docs of Mermaid. So we want to create a user journey, right? So this is the one where we are heading and then we can just take any kind of code snippet. So just that we will give the AI a hint of what it's going to look like. All right, and that's already it. So now we're going to save this and paste it into our AI model. All right, now select all of these and go back to our AI model. I'm using ChatGPT for this use case. We're using GPT-40 and we're going to just paste this prompt and see what we get out of this. Hit enter. see what it's created. And now you can already see that it's creating the final code that we will just paste into the mermaid renderer. All right, now let's check this. This seems to have worked. We're going to copy this. And now we're heading back to our life editor and just paste the whole code inside of here. And now you can already see going to hit reset and zoom in a little of what this has created. And this is already our final diagram. And here we can see we have awareness, consideration and so on. Sarah decides she needs new running shoes, I believe. Yes, new running shoes and lands on homepage and everything that we have created using our description and this is basically already it and now if you want to use or share this somehow then you just go back to the bottom left corner that you have the actions and here you can download this as any type of image that you want and then you can just hit the download button and there you already have the whole image of the diagram and you can paste it into your PowerPoint or do whatever you want with it. Awesome. Now this worked fantastic actually. And let's try another example. So we have used the user journey and let's take a vacation flow chart. So we are going to take our description again, paste this into our prompt and we need to adjust the first sentence. So create a diagram using the syntax for the following use case of planning a vacation. And then we have our description and use the following code as a sample. Now, as for the flow chart that we want to use, if we head back to the documentation, 
then you can see that the flow chart is fairly simple or rather it goes into much detail and expands this so what kind of template you would want to use that depends on your personal preferences so i'm just going to let's take this one and just as a reference for the model and save this and now paste this into our ai model all right jump back into chat gpt and we're going to use the same thread for this i don't know if that's a good idea but let's just try copy this and paste it in here and let's see what happens okay great it did create the flow chart we're going to copy this jump back into our life editor let's just minimize this paste it in here and let's see what happens and here you can also see that this has worked perfectly as well going to reset this so that we can have a look at the whole thing and um, here we have our whole process now if you don't like the design by the way there are a lot of customization options and in case you would want to use a specific style then you would need of course to uh, tell the AI model what kind of style you want but in general this should be fairly simple in regards to the AI model understanding of what you want if for instance you would want to use italics or bold or any kind of color or you want to change the orientation then it will adhere to the syntax and create the whole code for you now as a final step just for comparison because i mentioned that we don't necessarily need chat gpt for this but we can use any kind of ai model that we want so let's try out perplexity and see what this gives us we're going to use the same prompt as before and let's take the flow chart again paste this into perplexity and see what comes out of this and here we already have our final code again so let's copy this as well jump into our editor paste it and you can see that this has also worked great now of course there are some minor differences and you would have to double check if this actually makes sense and then maybe tweak a little couple of things but in general this has also worked great and as a final comparison let's check the cloud one the cloud model from anthropic and we are going to use the same prompt again paste this here hit enter and see what this comes up with and here we have our code again so copy jump into our life editor paste this and here you can see that this is almost exactly the same as perplexity created right if I'm not mistaken of course the color is changed but in regards to the flow itself this is almost identical so this is also fantastic and this is all working great all right now this was a very quick tutorial but you saw the benefits of this and I, what I believe is pretty awesome is that you don't need a separate image generation tool or an extra plan and of course you can use any kind of model that you want you can use the open source models from llama for instance mistral we have used perplexity and you saw that this works and you can get creative in regards to the kind of charts and the kind of diagrams that you would want to create right and you can customize the styling by telling the ai what you want to need let me know what you think about this in the comments. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and thanks for watching.